Okay, good good afternoon, folks. Larry Pesavent for TFNN. Uh, our guest today will be Margot Alama. She's got some stuff to talk to us about technically. I met her about six or seven months ago, and she's done a lot of work with Astro and some other stuff. So she's going to be our guest at uh, 1.30. Uh, tomorrow's guest will be Jeff Huge of uh, Alpha Insights. And then on Friday, I believe we're going to have Stan Harley. That'll be after the live trading show. I posted the weekly chart here of the NASDAQ. As you can see now, we are 200 handles higher than where I thought we would be. And that means that we already talked about the loss and the fact that it's still going up. I can tell you one thing without any hesitation, folks. I've been looking at charts for seven decades. These are ending moves, folks. This isn't a beginning type breakout. This is a beginning type breakout here. This one isn't. You know, whether it's going to make another A, B, C, D to the upside, you know, I'm not sure. The Dow Jones is still lagging, but not by much. It's still, you know, below the 618 of the previous day, as is the Russell. But the others are actually moving, you know, pretty good to the upside. I'm absolutely 100% sure of this on a long-term basis. Looking at this monthly, nothing has really changed. We're over the time. This is the month where it should be changing because it's 20 months, 20 months up in this move. We'll just get that up there so you can see it. 20 months up in that move, and it's 20 months up in this move. This happens to be one of Peter Leidy's 92-year cycles, possibly, and we're going to find out uh, what's going to be happening here. But right now, you got to stand on the short side because it's broken everything to the upside. You see here, there's where we were yesterday. Look at the look at the sell-off. Uh, you know, we had yesterday and today's sell-off backed right to the 50% level, and it's rallied 150 points. So. It's a heck of a move to the upside, and you just can't stand in front of it, and that's why you wait and see what happens next. But these are ending moves. Let's look at this on the hourly quickly, and then we'll get uh, take a little break and look at some other things we want to be watching. See, there was a 382 yesterday. Today's uh, yesterday's low right there was a 382 off of this consolidation that we had on the holiday of the 14th of July 4th. Okay, so looks like we're heading up here to 2099, maybe uh, 2090. So we're going to find out. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and we'll be back with you in a full minute or two.